Welcome back to another Leaf Blower Revolution guide. This is the seventh guide in the series, and in this guide we'll be going through the Hidden Sea up to the Tower. Now, in the previous guide we unlocked the Hidden Sea, so let's go over to the Hidden Sea. You may know that you may take increased damage in the Hidden Sea, as it is a damage stage, or the area uh, gives play damage, so you may only be able to stay in this area for a little bit. But to minimize this or completely negate the damage at all, we can go upgrade the flasks in here, play HP and leaf shield in all those flasks. You can upgrade your, uh, you can get some crafted leaves to help you get an increased health regeneration or health. But, and you can also have certain pets to increase your health re regeneration and max HP. Now, in this area, you'll be unlocking obsidian leaves. Obsidian leaves have a different method of obtaining the normal leaves as they require merging of leaves. Merging of leaves just means that you need to get two leaves close together to form a new leaf. These two leaves include the lava leaf and ice leaf, which also spawn in this area. Get them nice and close to each other, and then you'll be able to merge them into obsidian leaves. To help uh, merge these and get a lot of obsidian leaves out of the merge, we can go to the pets and equip aloe, which increases merged leaf count by two. After that, we can go into the obsidian shop and have a look at the upgrades in here. We've got the typical obsidian marketing and nuclear fuel. We've also got another combo upgrade that we can use, which increases max combo by 30 per level. And then also combo multiplier, which increases combo multiplier by 100% per level. We also have a leaf damage, which increases leaf hit damage by 20 per level. We also have more BLC. This small BLC increases it by 2E3 per level. We have a new upgrade here called Fruit Effects, which increases de which decreases the spore time of artifacts by one per second per level when collecting a fruit. And then durable artifacts, which means that every that the artifacts when they have spawned have an expiration time. This upgrade here means that every upgrade you have in this that exploitation time is de increased by five seconds per level. Now, after here, you you've noticed that you may have gotten a couple of obsidian leaves, but the obsidian leaf is quite slow. It doesn't give you too many because you need to merge leaves. I'll be teaching you a cool method, which is called the piling method, to easily get a large amount of obsidian leaves with not much effort. To do this, we need to turn off our ALBs, which I have already done. To turn off your ALBs, you need to go up to Settings, Gameplay, and it will be the first option here. Turn that off, as the ALBs will get in our way in what we are trying to do. The piling method is just trying to get a big pile of one certain leaf, which is in this case the obsidian leaf, into the center or anywhere to start piling as many as we can. A really useful tool to help us pile is in the artifacts area and is the gravity ball. We use one of these and then all the leaves will be transported into the center of our screen. This will help in merging these leaves as well and also it will help us remove any unwanted leaves. So all you want to do is go around removing all unwanted leaves, normal leaves, ice leaves or anything like that you don't need, push them away and then push all the obsidian leaves that have spawned outside into the center. Do this a couple of times until you are satisfied with the large enough pile that you are satisfied with. And then we can move on to the next stage of the piling method. You, uh, with the piling method, you want to use a tool with the least amount of range, but a high blowing power. I am using the high tech drill, which is bought with five E12 uh, uh, mythical leaves. After you've made your satisfying pile, you want to move your pile like this all the way up to a corner or a side of your screen very gently and just, just so it doesn't go off screen and collects those obsidian leaves. Now, once you've done that, you want to, all of as quickly as you can, push all those obsidian leaves as fast as you can off screen, like I just showed you there. What this does is it sort of tricks the game into thinking you have a higher um, obsidian leaf reward amount than you actually do, because it, the game works in a way as it calculates by the amount of obsidian leaves or any leaf that you get per second for its offline rewards or something along those lines of that. So which means if we send all the obsidian leaves off at once between a period of about a second, the game thinks that we have 
that we collect more obsidian leaves than we do, than we actually have, which means we're able to get a lot of obsidian leaves when we are offline. This is extremely helpful to upgrade our durable artifacts, our fruit artifacts, and then also our leaf damage and combo multipliers. After we've done that, we can go and continue farming BLC until we get to 1.5 E10 BLC or 15 billion BLC. Once we've done that, we, have un we can unlock Leaf Sync Harbor. So once we've done that, we can go over to Leaf Sync Harbor. And in this area, we are introduced to two types of leaves. These two types of leaves are the Silicon Leaf and the Better Night Leaf. You first have to unlock the Silicon Leaf in the Obsidian Shop at the top. Travel over here and you'll be start starting to get some silicon leaves. With these silicon leaves, they are basically the same as obsidian leaves, but with a couple of different upgrades. Uh, they are unlike obsidian leaves as they spawn normally and don't have to be merged. So let's head into this silicon leaf shop and have a look at the upgrades. We have the typical silicon marketing, silicon fertilizer, and we also have another leaf damage hit upgrade. By this time it's 30. We have more BLC. This time it is by 3.3 E3 per level, which is quite nice. We also have some new upgrades here, which is critical converters, which increases critical chance of converters by 0.5%, and then critical output increases critical value of converters by one per level, which basically means that your converters are now allowed to crit, getting a more higher crit reward. So if we go down to our converters, we can see gold converter, which is 6.99 E3 into our normal 5.3 E3 E7 amount of gold leaves. And then on crit, it's about 100 times that amount, which is quite nice, especially if we're wanting to get some extra flask upgrades. After you've gone through the silver silicon leaf shop, you're able to purchase the better night leaves. The better night leaves work in the same way as the obsidian leaf, as you need to merge silicon and ice leaves together to make some better night leaves. We can use the same piling method and the same method to pile them using the gravity ball all in the center of the screen, which will be a big help in merging them and collecting them. After that, let's check out the better night shop. In better night shop, there are some new couple things. We have borbs. Borbs are sort of a joke as it's sort of like an inside joke with the game. Everything to do with borbs is just borb, 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 which is quite funny. As you can see in the pets, we, there is a borb pet all the way at the top. All, it's, all it is is borbo, borb, 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 borb. And if you have following the law, we can go all the way into the borb law, and it's just borb, 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 borb. It's just a bit of a joke, and it continues on throughout the game. Some other upgrades in here is better night marketing, nuclear fuel as before, and then leaf damage, which increases leaf damage by 50 per level, per level of this upgrade. Uh, damage is going to be important when we are into the next area, which is the tower, as it is the main source of progression. Then we have more BLC, but this time it's by 4E3 per level. And then we also have those, yep, the crits, uh, some more crit upgrades here, just like in the silicon shop, but exactly the same. We have printer printers, which uh, which give six printers each second this time per level. And then we have leaf merginator. The leaf merginator increases max leaf merge rate by two pixels per level, which means that it doesn't have to be as precise and doesn't have to be on top of each other to actually merge leaves, getting it more efficient to merge two leaves together. We have auto buy accelerator, which reduces the auto buy bot delay by 0.01 seconds per level. And then customer acquisition, which is finds new trades faster, decreases trade refresh cooldown by 1%. That trade refresh cooldown is up at the top re trade refreshes in that amount. It's usually five minutes or two minutes. I can't remember which one as mine is quite short. Now, after you've done all those upgrades as many times as you can here, we just want to continually farming BLC. Now this is the last time that at the moment that you really need to focus on your BLC until we're at the end of the tower. As the tower doesn't require any sort of leaves, it only requires leaves in damage. So the only thing we have to worry about into progressing into this tower is the amount of damage that we can. The tower can be quite complicated. There's a lot of different things to go over in the tower. 
and there's different methods to acquiring different things and everything like that. So the tower, I'm gonna make a big video on that about every little thing to help you get as much damage as you can to get as many resources that you, new resources that you get into the tower and all that. So that is going to be in the next guide. Now, that is all for today's guide. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and make sure you like and subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one.